happening, new parent? Welcome back to another unboxing video. I'm pretty excited about this. As you guys know, I have always been a longtime subscriber of Geek Feel ever since I started my channel. I think I got it pretty shortly after I started my channel. Last year, they changed their box from a monthly subscription to a quarterly subscription. And uh, yeah, I got this in. Now, I've been having some trouble. I know I got the first one. This is volume four. I don't think I've gotten volume two or three, and I think it was because there was some shipping issues with my addresses, and they actually reached out to me. I haven't gotten back to them. I need to respond back. But they actually reached out to me because the boxes kept getting kicked back to them. And so um, I got my new address sorted out, and I got this box. This is, again, a Geek Feel EXP volume four. And hopefully, if I can work with them, I could potentially try to get volume two and volume three back. It's been a while since I've unboxed this uh, box. This has been though a pretty core box on my channel. If you're interested in getting this box, I'll put all the pricing details in the description below. I'll be honest and say that with at least the first box that we got that I remember, I just remember that it was, I'm not going to say disappointing, but it was, you know, I, it, Geek Feel has always been one of my favorite monthly subscription boxes, so I was excited that they decided to jump to, to, to quarterly, because that usually means that these companies can, I don't know, get better quality products. Um, but you know, I don't really remember this box that well, so why don't we go ahead and just open this up and see what it looks like, and then we can talk about it. This box is quite heavy. Uh, once you got the tape and you open up the box, oh, this is what you're gonna see. Oh, what is that? Oh, Archer pins. Oh, that's right. I used to love the Geek Feel pins. You guys remember when they used to make um, the pins with Feel the Robot? Uh, those are my favorite. But now they are doing a partnership with a company called Pins. So, a bunch of stuff popped out. Let's see, this is our recap card. We'll set that to the side. Don't wanna see that yet. All right, let's check this out. The first item we have is what popped out of the box. We have an Archer pin. Oh, this is actually kind of funny. It's like a cartoon version of Archer. There was a, there's different rare, well, there was commons and then action Archer is a rare pin. So um, it's the one in the green box. If you would have gotten that, that's uh, out of 500, but we didn't, we just got regular Archer, which is fine. Cause I actually, I actually like this. He's so fun. He looks so fun looking, like super cartoony. I mean, I know he's technically a cartoon, but he looks like a, like a fun kid cartoon. Okay, so there's that. This uh, Spider-Man sticker fell out. This is kind of like a faded type Spider-Man sticker, but that's cool. I wonder what material this is made out of. I wonder if I could put this on my water bottle. That would be neat. I buy all these stickers from my water bottle and then like, when it comes time to put the stickers on the water bottle, I'm like, oh, I can't put stickers on. I've never put stickers on things. Like, even growing up, like, you know, you know how people put stickers on, like, their laptop thing? Like, I can't even imagine doing that. I have a lot of struggles with it. All right, next we have this item that looks like it's from Indiana Jones. It says on here, Golden Fertility Idol of the Lost Temple. So obviously this is not a licensed Indiana Jones product, but it's a play off of Indiana Jones. And that's pretty normal for geek, for geek Feel. They usually do a mixture of licensed items and in-house items, but I will say that their in-house items are, I mean, look at this box. Like this is a really nice box and the packaging's good, so. That's always something that I've always appreciated about Geek Feel. Do you guys think that uh, Brent still works for Geek Feel? Has anybody been following my channel for that long? Brent was a customer service guy from the company who was just really awesome. And I remember he was one of the main reasons why I really was connected with Geek Feel just because I remember something had broke and he like just sent it to me. Like I didn't even contact the company. He had seen the video and sent it to me. And then like, he even sent me some, like, I don't know. Anyways, hey Geekville, does uh, Brent still work for you? Okay, so whatever we have, well, I know what we have, but it's, it comes in this cool uh, knapsack. It smells interesting. What is this? Oh, I can't tell if it's gonna be like a figure. I think, I mean, I assumed it was a statue, but it smells like a bath bomb. Oh, it smells the, it's the paint, it's the paint. Oh, it's a candle. What is this? It's a candle. Oh, okay. This, yeah, this is like something that's on like the Indiana Jones ride at Disneyland. Um, so we got the Golden Fertility 
idol, but it's a candle. I, I don't think it's scented. It smells like paint. It smells like paint is what it is. So we have this idol. It's very heavy. It's probably where a lot of this weight comes in. I can't handle this. The paint smells very, very strong. But it's a cool um, item. I like, I thought it was going to be a figure. I thought it was going to be like a figure. I mean, I guess it being a candle is cool too. I wonder if it's, I don't think it's going to be scented. I like the whole bag, like the knapsack that it comes in. It's very Indiana Jones. I don't think I was expecting a candle. I wish the candle was better scented because it smells like pink. All right, the next item we have is a Game of Thrones item. This is, and this is a Titans vinyl figure, and it's an exclusive to this box. And this is a, an exclusive 4.5 white Viserion glow-in-the-dark translucent. That's what it says. So let's see, can you see it? It's very glary, sorry. Ah, uh, well, there's what it looks like. We can, uh, we can take it out of the box. It's taped, but I don't mind taking it out of the box. We can just kind of show the camera. I don't want to take it out of the box. I'm sorry, I changed my mind because I'm not gonna keep this. So it seems like weird to just rip it open, but as you can see, I've never seen a Titans vinyl figure of an animal. Usually it's just uh, people, and I'm not a huge fan of Titan vinyl figures just because the people always look very strange. But I must say, this Titan vinyl figure of this dragon thing is actually pretty cool. Maybe Titan Titans vinyl figures should just make things like this, because I actually think that this is neat, and it's very different than like a Funko Pop, which I always felt like Titans vinyl, like ever since I started getting boxes and I was getting like pops and then Titan vinyls, like I felt like they were trying to compete with each other, but there's not really any competition there, you know? But I think if they were to kind of change into uh, these types of figures, I think they might be a little bit more successful. Now this is supposed to be glow in the dark. I have no way of testing it right now, um, but yeah, there you go. Oh, I was like, what's this thing in the background? But it's the box. Okay, next we have, oh, this is cool. So I thought this was gonna be the shirt and I was kind of sad because it said large on it. I was like, oh no, my shirt size is wrong. But I think this is gonna be a bag clip that's uh, like in reference to a, Ninten a Nintendo Power Glove, I think, based off the picture. Yes. This is so funny because I just bought a bunch of bags of chips that are downstairs in my kitchen because I had a party on Saturday and I ran out of bag clips. I was like, oh, I need to get like more, you know, like the chip bag clips. So this is what it looks like. It's a power clip and it's meant to look like the Nintendo Power Glove. And as you can see, there's a magnet and a clip. That is very unique and very useful. This is something I've always liked about, oops, I ripped that box. Good thing I'm keeping this product because that would have made me really sad. Here's some information about it. But yeah, they have always made like in-house products, but I felt like their in-house products were very useful, which I really enjoy. I like useful products. Like this is really cool. I like that a lot. Very nice. Next we have something from X-Men. It's a canvas collection, Silver Age edition. And this is a Geek Feel, so this is a Geek Feel licensed Marvel product. I love this box that they that they created for this. You can't really tell, but like the X-Men's a little bit, not 3D, but you know, it's like popping out of the box a little bit. I don't know, I just like it. Let's see what this canvas collection looks like. This is very cool. So I actually kind of slightly remember this. So I wonder if this is something that they've been doing every month. I or every box, I, I can't confirm or deny that because I don't know. But this is a canvas print, and this is probably the, f I don't know if this is the first issue of X-Men, but it's made to look like a really old school comic book cover of an X-Men comic, which I think is really neat. There is a um, metal clasp, they did cover it to protect it, but there's a metal clasp right there that you can use to hang this on the wall. I need to look back. I need to see if I, if there's any way I can get my old boxes because if this was a consistent like product each box, I would love to get multiple of these and I think these would look really cool like to hang on the wall. They would have to be very, very like symmetrical or you know like spaced out perfectly. But wouldn't that be neat to have like one, like boom, 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 boom. 
Well, they've only had four boxes, so I guess maybe only four. Maybe four. Maybe it's like, boom, 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 you know? That was weird. I don't even know. I don't even know what, what I was trying to explain there, guys, but I like this product and I like the packaging. I really enjoy the packaging, which is really nice. All right, we have a game card. This is a, a consistent thing with Geek Fuel. It's actually, again, I always say this, it's one of the main reasons why I originally didn't want to sign up for Geek Fuel because I was like, oh, I don't download games. But this is a Steam game from, it's for the game Splasher, which is a 2D game that offers arcade action. The powerful and surprising paint cannon, the player will have to face great challenges and use all his skills to rescue the Splashers. These little fellows are working as peons, 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 in a big factory in Corp. The evil ruler of the company, Le Docteur, has insane plans that threaten them all with a terrible fate. Peons? Is that what it's called? Peons? Now, I, uh, this says it has a $15 value. I rarely play, I think I've, in my, in my time with subscription boxes, I might have downloaded maybe two games at most. So what I'm gonna do is scratch this, I'm gonna scratch this code off and I'm gonna share this with the first person, well, I'm gonna share this with all of you, but first person to use this code can download the game. One time use, so first come, first serve. Can you see the code? Can you see the code? There you go. There's the code. And uh, again, this is for the game Splasher, so you can go on Steam and download that. Uh, if you were able to download that, let me know, and then let me know how that game is. Oh, I, I threw it away already. I should probably wait for my pricing and recap. Okay, next we have, this is a Spider-Man and Thor Marvel team up. It's in the hands of the collectors is what this what the issue is called. This is a Marvel Custom Edition number one, not for resale. And it's a, it, I don't know if it's a Sideshow Collectibles thing, uh, but it's a very thin comic. Not meant for resale, which means I'm assuming that the value of it, it's not like a $5 comic or anything, but it's all color. It's got nice graphics, which is very nice. So that is cool. I don't know if that was like a special edition thing that came out. Sometimes they have things like that. I do think that this is a sideshow collectibles like custom thing because then they have a giant sideshow collectible figure of Thor. The last item in the box, they, they put Indiana Jones. There's his little silhouette. Um, the last item in the box is our shirts. I think it's my shirt, I don't, I don't know. I've never seen the shirt come in a bag like this. This is my first experience, I think. So we have our shirt. This is a cool little bag. Oh, I thought the bag was sealed, it's not. All right, we have a men's medium Marvel license, or license Marvel. It's a black shirt. I think I see Spidey on it. There's the design. The shirt quality is really nice. It's, it's uh, not super thick and stiff. It's actually like soft, but it's it, it doesn't feel super thin, which sometimes happens. And this says, Kid Arachnid, and this is Marvel, and it has Spider, well, it has Spider-Man, and then, is that Spider, Spider, Spider-Gwen? I don't know. Isn't that Spider-Gwen? That doesn't look like a boy, and I'm just going based off the chest, the chest contour, but anyways, that's cool. I like Spider-Man. I dig that. Okay, that is all the items in the box. Let's go ahead and do some pricing and recap. I have no, I don't remember at all how much I paid for this box. Let's see. That super confused me. I just looked at my Geek Fuel videos and realized that I mislabeled. I don't know what I did, but I have two 2018 May boxes. So I, I did get volume two, so I'm missing volume three. The last time I got this box was in May. It's quarterly. No, it wasn't May. May was the first box. May, June, July, August probably August, and then September, October. So I'm missing the November box, November, December, January. So this is probably the February box, just in case anybody's wondering. Volume four, February. So I am missing one box, volume three. I need to figure that out. All right, let's do this. We have our licensed Marvel. Oh, we can use our little, look at this fancy schmancy card. Ooh, it is a little bit fancy. Okay. Uh, we're gonna give our shirt $12 because it's a licensed tee. It did come with this Spider-Man sticker. Uh, I don't know what the, let's see, 
Spidey sticker is what it says. I will give this a dollar, although stickers this size when I went to Hawaii were costing me like three dollars. But we'll give that, we'll give, let's give that a dollar fifty. I think it's worth that. We had our power clip chip clip. This is again kind of made to re replicate the Nintendo Power Glove. I absolutely love this item. I like the box it came in. I already threw it away because I'm planning on using this. Uh, I would say that you could easily give this at least at least three to five dollars. Five dollars seems a little bit high, although it's pretty cool. But because it's not like licensed or anything, I guess I know I would maybe four dollars. Let's give it four dollars. I uh, let's do four dollars. This Marvel uh, comic book. They actually don't list this on the card. I think again, this is kind of more of a promo item. I would go ahead and give that a dollar. Usually, those comic books are either free or they're like a dollar. We had our X Men. Number one classic canvas art silver age edition. Uh, this was actually really cool. I would say that you could give this, you could give this definitely $10, potentially 10 to 15. I think 15 is a little bit high. I think you might be able to give it like 12 at most. Um, it is licensed, so why don't we do 12? I don't remember how much I've been giving those, but let's do 12. We had our Game of Thrones exclusive Titans Vinyl White versus Viserion. To be honest, this is an exclusive to this box. So if you guys remember, usually for old figures, I used to give them $15. I think you can definitely give this 10. I'd be interested to see if this is going on eBay for anything because I know there's a lot of Game of Thrones fans and you know Titans Vinyl Figures is a is a reputable company. It's not like a it's not like a random thing. So let's see. Oh. Okay, there's two people selling this, and it looks like they're selling it for twenty five dollars. So people are selling it for a lot, but let's see what this item has sold for. So based on what this item has sold for. There's kind of a, there's a glow variant that's not exclusive. This one's translucent. That's what makes it different. I would say that you could give this at most 15. I, I feel like that's a little bit high because this isn't a huge figure. Why don't we go with 12 right now? Because it looks like that's about the price that it's been sold for. Some of the ones are like crossed off. So they had like best offer. So you can't really tell. But I'm going to say 12. We had our Golden Fertility Idol of the Lost Temple Candle and Drawstring Pouch. It's a diorama that you can um, put that right here because you know he's about to grab it. And you can like set it here. That's what the picture shows. Um, I'll be honest and say that this thing scares me. It's not something that I would, it's not something that I would keep in my house. It says do not light the candle when in box. That's a good tip. Um, I think you could give this I think you could give this $10 easily. You might be able to get a little more. Um, I actually think this would have been cooler if it was a figure, but I understand the concept of it. Uh, and I don't know if it's scented, but I didn't like the smell of paint. That is the one thing that I'm like, ooh. But I think you could give this $10. I think at most I'd give that $12. I feel like I'm giving everything $12. I'll give it $12. Um, we had our Splashers game card. Now this said this was a value of $15. I want to say in the past I've always just given game cards $5. I know a lot of people get mad about that because obviously it says $15 on there. But usually with these games they have deals and stuff. Like it's not like you always have to pay $15. Uh, but it is technically going for $15 on Steam. So why don't we give it $10? Um, I'm sure there's like some kind of discount you can find on Steam. I don't know how Steam works. I don't even, I don't really use Steam, so I have no idea. And then the last item we have is our Archer pin. Like I said, they did have a rare action Archer pin. We got regular Archer. It's still really cool. This is from, it's a partnership between Geek Fuel and Pin Pals. I would easily give this pin, um, well, I'll give it $5 because of the little box that it came in. Oh! Uh, um, yeah, five dollars. Five dollars is fair. It's it's a license. That's actually I forgot to tell you. It is licensed, which is cool. It's a licensed product. All right, that's all the items in the box. According to my pricing, this box is worth sixty nine dollars and fifty cents. I didn't actually look up the pricing of this box, so let's see. This box costs sixty five dollars if you buy it quarterly. If you buy a, a a two quarterly plan, which is like every half a year, because it's two boxes, it's 
$63 per box. I get the annual plan, so I'm paying $61 per box. I'm gonna use that price point, which means that I got $8.50 extra value. So here's the thing. If you got the quarterly plan at 65, you would have only gotten, you would have gotten your value plus a few dollars extra. With my price point that I'm paying, I did get a teeny bit more extra, $8.50. In old terms, like if we were going based off of like my old price point, that would be not good for a $65 box. But at this point with subscription boxes, if it can just retain its value, then that's good. And if it can get any extra value, then that's even better. So so the, the standards of subscription boxes has definitely changed a little bit. But I appreciate that this box, you know, got its value. I do actually like the mixture of items. I'll say my least favorite item is the Golden Fertility Idol just because it creeps me out. The, the kind of uh, Indiana Jones type product. But I did like everything else about this box. I mean, obviously I'm not a Game of Thrones fan, but I do appreciate a good license, you know, legitimate figure. Uh, Titan Vinyl, that's like a good, that's a good company. So yeah, I do like the mixture, the uh, non, -ex the non-licensed items, which were the candle and the chip bag, like I said, not each one of the candle, but I actually love the chip, the chip clip bag thing, the chip bag clip, chip bag clip, uh, and then everything else is licensed in this box, which is nice. So if I had to rate this box, I think I would give this box a, I would say a 4.25 out of 5 noobs. I liked the majority of the items. I like that they were licensed. I like that a lot of them were exclusive. I, Wish that the value was a little bit better, of course, because again, for a $65 box, like to only get $8 is right, it's good, I'm glad, but it's not the best. So I would say the value could be a little bit better. I did really dislike this product a lot. I just wasn't a huge fan of that. So that's my uh, 4.25, maybe a 4.5 out of 5 noobs. But I would say a 4.25 out of 5 noobs. I wouldn't say that I'm overly excited about anything other than like, I really like this bag clip. Let's see, those are the, the random things that excite me. Anyways, guys, that is all I have for you in this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, feel free to click the like button below. If you want to see more unboxing videos, go ahead and check out my channel. I have a whole bunch on there, and you should subscribe. Let me know in the comment section below what you guys thought about this box. For the price point and the type of items that we got, what are your thoughts? Uh, I can imagine a lot of people being somewhat disappointed just because, again, the value is not, like, it's not an overly amount of value, but... It, it hit its value of the box, and that's pretty good, and we got, well, I got $8.50 extra value, so not terrible, but let me know what your thoughts are, let me know what your favorite item is, and yeah, share it down below. Don't forget, if you subscribe to my channel, and your subscriptions are blocked or set to private, you'll make it onto my thank you to subscriber page, which should be coming up shortly. I think I ran out of them. I don't know if I'm going to have time to update any, um, but be on the lookout. I'll definitely work on that in the next couple of days. Before we go, we must do the video shout out. Today's video shout out is gonna go to Pop Pop Goes the Weasel. Pop Pop Goes the Weasel, you get the video shout out. Thank you so much for watching, commenting, and supporting my channel. I appreciate all of your support. It looks like you might have just created your channel. Thank you for uh, being my or thank you for subscribing to me. It, I think you're saying, you said you're my first sub, but it had a, it has a question mark, so I don't know if that, what that means. I don't know if that means like you, I was the first person that you subscribed to with your new channel. Who knows? Anyways, thank you so much for your support. I wanna give you the video shout out. So shout out to you, Pop Pop Goes the Weasel! Shout out to you! All right guys, I hope you have an amazing day and I will see you guys next time. Bye!